This video in no way, shape, or form utilizes any of the leaked footage from The Last of Us Part 2. In fact, just to be safe, I've refrained from using any assets from the game save for the thumbnail in the YouTube version of this upload. I feel the need to get that out of the way now, because a suspicious part of me is pretty sure that the company Sony hired to scrub said footage from the internet is manually claiming content. If this video gets claimed, it will be a gross misuse of fair use, because I'm just talking about shit while using publicly available information for the sake of entertainment. I will fucking fight if you claim this video in particular. The reason I say all of this is because I uploaded a video titled Jolin 1 on May 6, 2020. It was a short little romp making fun of the leaks associated with Sony and Naughty Dog's future steaming shit pile, The Last of Us Part 2. In the video, I made fun of the leaked plot, called Sony ass mad for sending out false DMCAs to certain websites, and questioned the validity of a third party being the source of the leaks. It was just a short, fun video I wanted to make laughing at the situation. I'm kind of surprised and honestly incredibly thankful for all the support it got. But it seems that my video didn't just attract a lot of positive attention though. It seems that the bloodhounds had been sent out, and me being unaware of it, had just painted a target on my back. Because on May 17th, 11 days after uploading the video, I get a notification from YouTube. Hi Zedpill. Due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. You received a copyright strike. And wouldn't you know it, it was because of Joel and One. Now, I've always been pretty paranoid about YouTube finding an excuse to take me down given the kind of edgelord retard bullshit I upload on a semi-regular basis. But after doing a little digging, I realized that this wasn't just a one-off thing. As it turns out, Sony Interactive Entertainment's European branch has hired a company called Muso to take down any and all footage of The Last of Us Part 2 from websites willing to bend the knee and comply with their demands, and apparently this was a thing prior to me having made my Joel in One video. Part of me is kicking myself for not having looked this up sooner, but in all honesty, there was no reason for me to assume anything other than that my video would just be one of many making fun of Naughty Dog and Sony. I mean, sure, maybe if I'd been on top of things, I would know about Muso and have been more careful, but honestly, I don't give a shit about The Last of Us, Sony, or anyone getting ass mad over some literally gay walking simulator. I just make videos laughing when stupid shit happens online. This happened to be one of those times. Although I'm also not going to sit here and pretend like I don't know why they did it. In some capacity, I do get it. Sony knows these leaks are going to damage sales because not everyone is a soy-addled naughty drone. And given the outrage in the gaming community from people sick of must subversion in popular media, Sony knows that anyone else that learns about what happens in the game isn't going to want to buy it. Even so, I also know two things. Number one, as far as I'm concerned, the shit I used in my video falls under fair use. It's not my fault that Naughty Dog security is shit, and it certainly isn't my fault that the direction they're taking the franchise in deserves to be mocked and ridiculed. You can bullshit all you like about sales concerns and what have you, but as far as I'm concerned, I did nothing wrong. But then we come to the second thing I know, and that second thing is that I don't give enough of a fuck about an interactive movie to want to die on a hill mocking it. Call me a sellout, call me a cuck, but I did not want to be marked with a stupid fucking copyright strike all because of a video game I don't care about. So I decided to fight. Now, given that I don't want to ruin my anonymity online in any capacity unless absolutely necessary, there wasn't a snowball's chance in hell I was about to give YouTube my personal information. So I decided to go with the second option and email this Muso company myself. Although I was a little bit protrubed by the fact that their company email was a Gmail link of all things. So I decided to do a little bit of digging in order to see just how legitimate this Muso TNT LTD's claim was. And as it turns out, it was fairly legit. Muso, it seems, is a UK-based company specializing in fighting against the terrors of online piracy. Which is funny considering that instead of doing just that, they've now been relegated at Sony's request to taking down videos talking about The Last of Us Part 2. Oh yeah, doing a real good job at fighting legitimate piracy there, aren't you? But in all seriousness, I did take a look around at their website and found that yes, Sony Interactive Entertainment was one of their clients. Still a little wary about the whole Gmail thing, I decided to not only email them via the link YouTube provided to me, but I also decided to fill out their contact us page on the website. I sent the same message to both places with a little PS at the end explaining why they might be receiving a duplicated email. That message was as follows. To whom it may concern. My name is Zedpill. I'm a content creator on YouTube who makes parodic commentaries with the express purpose of criticizing the subjects of my videos. Recently, your company has issued a copyright takedown notice for a video I uploaded on May 6, 2020, entitled Joel and One. I believe I know why this was, as I had utilized footage in the video from leaks of Naughty Dog's upcoming title, The Last of Us Part 2. I did this with the express purpose of using sarcastic comments in order to criticize the plot of the game, specifically the scene showcased in the clip. This is typically protected under fair use for the purposes of commentary and criticism 
criticism, but I do understand where you're coming from given the game has yet to be officially released. I would appreciate it though if you retracted your claim, as I'd like to delete the video outright from my YouTube channel. I do not seek to be in negative standing with YouTube as a platform because of a dumb mistake, nor with you as a company for my own stupidity. If you retract the takedown notice, I would be more than happy to delete the video from my YouTube channel as soon as I see that it's back up. Cheers, Zed. A little too groveling, I will admit. But again, I was vainly hoping that I could slide out scot-free because, again, I don't care enough about these people to get a copyright strike over this. And I will be honest, I wasn't expecting a response back. But, lo and behold, I did indeed receive one. And not from a Gmail account either. The email came to me from what appears to be Musso's legal team. Hello, thank you for your email. We have been instructed by our client to remove specific footage which has not yet been authorized for distribution. As you have not supplied the URL for your video, we cannot make comment on the footage to which you refer in your email. Please supply us with the URL of the specific clip in question. Following receipt of this, we will relay your message to our client. Best regards, Musso. So, despite the video having been taken down, I complied. And I waited. And waited. And waited. Five days went by before I decided to send them another email, pretty much a copy-based job of the last one, although this time with the link included. At the time you're seeing this video, Musso, Naughty Dog, or Sony have yet to contact me. Now, if I wanted to, I could take this further. I could just bite the bullet, fill out the form, and make a counterclaim. But, as I said before, I value my anonymity too much. Not to mention that it seems from the looks of things, doing so wouldn't get me anywhere. Geeks and gamers had their videos removed for one thing, as well as a smaller YouTuber named Smudboy, who for one of his videos was apparently just browsing reddit memes. If Musso is willing to abuse the copyright system over fucking memes, then there's no way I'd make it out alive with a counterclaim. Plus, the reason I wanted to contact the company directly was so I could legit just delete the video on my own terms. Yeah, yeah, beta bitch move, I know, but honestly, I just don't want to deal with gay retard bullshit when I don't have to. Not to mention that the version I uploaded over on my BitChute channel hasn't been fucked with whatsoever, so it's not like the video's been wiped clean. If the video had just been nuked from the internet, then fuck yeah, I'd fight to the death for that shit. But the video getting removed from YouTube? I mean, that's why I made the BitChute channel in the first place. And since Musso seems intent on taking down the video anyway, given it resulted in a copyright strike, I figured I'd try my hand at worming my way out of the strike while also begrudgingly giving them what they wanted. But as it stands right now, no dice. In some capacity, I do get it, what with Sony and Naughty Dog wanting to save face in the wake of their latest fuck-up. But man oh man is the shit they are pulling a bad look for the company. I mean, it's bad and messed up enough that they're getting away with taking down videos and social media posts that use leaked footage. That at least you can justify by saying the game isn't out yet so you don't want people to see shit that hasn't officially been released. That would still be fucking stupid, but at the very least you could justify it. But trying to DMCA memes from Twitter, YouTube, and the fucking Kiwi Farms of all places makes you look even more dwindling in your IQ. Hell, now we have both Naughty Dog and its VP Neil Druckmann limiting the number of people who can reply to their posts on Twitter. To curb the leak, sure, but it also makes you look like a bitch who can't take the fact that your company sucks massive dick at being able to keep its unreleased game stored away. Well, either way, I for one am looking forward to seeing how this shit show develops as Sony and Naughty Dog continue to whittle away at the trust they've built up with gamers for years. The only people they're gonna have left to buy their pretend video games are a bunch of rainbow-colored Soylent drinkers who have a statistically high chance of offing themselves at any given moment. But hey, the future was always bound to go to shit and Anyway, I won't miss you, Sony Interactive Entertainment, and the same goes for Naughty Dog. They had their time in the spotlight, and now it has come to pass. All we can do now is appreciate what they gave us before turning into a steamy pile of asshole paste. Now, since a lot of this video had to do with me and my plight, I'm going to shill my Twitter gab and bit shoot real quick. If you enjoy what I do, I implore you to consider following me on these other platforms in case I get nuked here. I've also went ahead and made a second channel as a backup if following me to somewhere else on YouTube makes things easier. Links to all of these are in the description. As for me, I'm going to go play the Uncharted collection I snagged for free during Sony's Play at Home initiative. You know, the superior Naughty Dog franchise considering that it's had a jump button since its release 13 years ago. Druckmann, you fucking dunce. Wow, jumping in a video game! What a brave new mechanic! I'd better tweet my praise at the Naughty Dog team for this powerful new innovation. Oh, wait. 